Hello, beautiful people. My name is Miss Taku, and welcome back to Corpse Party. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just did, like, I, I just did the intro to chapter three, and I, I guess I didn't see it because all my recording stuff is on this screen, and I'm over here reading. Um, it stopped like before I even started <laughs> the chapter. My recording stopped before I even started the chapter. Um, anyways, uh, I'm going to act like maybe, I'm probably not, that I've never seen this before. We'll see how this goes. Um, there's a lot of, that's a, no, yeah, there's a lot of name tags, guys, look! <gasps> Don't ignore, ignore the names, but like, look, girl, so many names. I'm trying to reenact what I did. You know, cause like the first recording was genuine, and now I drop I'm dropping things on my desk and it's not genuine anymore. But look, look, so many names! Oh my gosh, are we gonna be able to get them all? Who knows? I guess we'll start a new one, cause I'm not gonna waste this makeup and outfit to not do it. Opening shirt. Sure. I've totally never seen it before. Oh, is it recording? We're recording. Oh no, who is this? Oh, yeah. <gasps> who are you? <laughs> Mitsuki. I can't take much more of this. What's wrong with this school? <laughs> who in the heck was that? Why is he here? If we got hit with a hammer like that, we'd be goners. Where's Kurosaki? <laughs> oh! Uh... Don't worry about him. He was just here. We'll run into him any minute now, I'm sure of it. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. I don't want to die like that. <laughs> You saw it too, right? Emmy's body? Her head. Her head was split wide open. Ooh, that was nasty. It had to have been from that hammer. Don't think about it, please. Oh, grow up, Mitsuki. Your friend died. Boo hoo. Dang it. Where did everybody go? Uh, what? Look, Fukuroi? Look, the hallway! It, it can't be. The corridor. It grew. What is... No, no, the other way. Look down the hall. Something's... Eh, something's coming. What? No. Big scary noises. Oh no. You better run. Oh, he got that. Bet you he got got. I totally have not read this before. Oh, oh, blood splatters, blood splatters, oh, finger splatters. Nice. That sounds like a hammer. That scream is crazy good. Please tell me she's like an actress, for, a voice actress for good movies. All your might. Let the wind carry you. Oh, <laughs> well, that guy's angry. Jeez. Her screams are intense. Her screams are intense. Oh, yeah. It's so weird. It's an outside area. But is it actually... It, it's actually ground level, right? Because the shingles are right there. 
Can't she just like crawl across the fence then? What's happening? Heck is going on? Oh, am I moving? Oh, was she? Was I moving or was she moving? I couldn't tell. That's so creepy. Oh, it is ground level. Crawl out the fence. Get out of the school. That's the easiest way to do it, no? Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Give me me back my hair. Yeah, she gave it back to her. You obviously took it. Yeah. I don't know why she didn't yell there. She was great at yelling before. Ring a dongle. Answer it. Uh, hello? Help? He says it's so slow. Help me. He says it so well. Like, you can hear, like, his saliva. Naomi? 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 Are you there? Answer me, please. Mom? 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 Mom, it's me. I'm in real trouble. Naomi? Naomi? Please, just let me hear your voice. Please, just say something. I'm your mom, Naomi. God, please, don't let anything have happened to her. Nice. It also seems like it's like 2008 during this. Yeah, like October 27th of 2008. Not far from with today's date. We get it. You need help? I can't do any of that. I'm on my phone. Do you need me to Google you something? Who is that? Stop it! <gasps> Creepy! <laughs> nice throw, Naomi. Yes! Break the phone! Break the phone that we could potentially use. Good job! Proud of you. Oh, oh we're back to Seiko. Hi, Seiko! <laughs> Hang in there! Seiko! I'm sorry. I don't understand. <laughs> You said we make it out of here together. <laughs> Why would you kill yourself? What happened? <laughs> what did you see? <laughs> it is really a pity. <gasps> Who are you? In the spirit of a girl who died here. Do you know what happened to her? I believe your friend was afflicted. Oops, sorry. With what? The curse. That holds this school together. Those who are touched by it slowly lose their minds to it. Some people realize this is happening and go great lengths to prevent it, even taking their own lives. Of course, others just go insane. Sometimes they start hurting people around them 
The exact response to this curse varies quite a bit from one person to the next. So no. That's horrible. Let me squeeze my tatas in front of you. Now that your friend Now that your friend has passed away, this school, this space. Is yours? I'm so sorry I keep cutting her off. Is yours alone? You are its only living occupant. No. You will be all by yourself from here on out until the day you die. Ooh, I'm a ghost. <sighs> Poor Naomi. She gets some. She gets some awful freaking news, dude. My cell phone does have Seiko's number stored in it, and everybody else's too. What does that mean? I don't get what she means by that. Oh, there goes her ankle. Kerchong down the stairs. Dude, Naomi can't catch a break right now. Oh gosh, it hurts. That's the sound. Was that my leg? Oh. Nice, nice nastiness. Oh, even more nastiness. Let's go, Naomi. <laughs> What is that? Blood and despair? Oof. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You hate to see it. Pull yourself together. You're a tough cookie, Naomi. This isn't like you. Come on, Naomi. You gotta do it for Seiko. Oh, those tears. I'm... I'm not tough at all. Seiko! Seiko! Oya! I can't take any more of this. Somebody, please help me. I feel so bad. She's gone through a lot. I don't think she's gone through the worst. I think Mayu, you know, the one who got run into the wall. I think she's got a little bit more. <laughs> chapter three, baby. Oh my gosh, I've never done chapter three before. <gasps> Satoshi. Oh, am I recording? Yes, you're doing great, Yuka. Really impressed how long you've gone without crying. High five. Ah, uh, you, you're crying. Alright, take that back. Uh-huh. I'm not crying. I'm not. I'm sweating through my eyes. Since the other corporeal beings, such as yourselves, are brought here as well. Nine in total. Nine poor souls pulled in at once. Oreni, Yukani, Naomi, Yoshiki, Shinozaki. That would be me, Yuka, Naomi, Yoshiki, Shinozaki, Shinohara, Suzumoto, and Morishige. Hanobani doesn't ink. Sui, Shinohara, Suzumoto, Morishige. In other words, everybody in the room at the time. So. So, I'm so sorry. So everybody else is in this school too? You talk so slow, Yui. If that's your name. Not exactly. As I mentioned, this is a nexus of closed spaces. Your friends are scattered among them. So in essence, they are indeed all in this school, but it's not quite the same place for everyone. Meeting anyone else here may prove difficult. 
どんな目に遭うか。If you should attempt to defy the will of this school to find them, you may ultimately invoke its wrath. And that's a fate best avoided. That's how you get the, how you get the die. Alright, I, I, I wanted to sound scary, but I did choose. We have to try anyway. Let's be a determined man! We appreciate the warning, but we have to try. We'll do whatever it takes to find everyone and get out of here. Big brother. They're all such good people. We've done nothing to deserve this. And I absolutely will not give up on them just because there's some nebulous curse that might strike back at me. It's a rarity to find such righteous determination these days. Be sure you don't lose it along the way. Your desire not to let a single person die. Try to retain that noble spirit. No matter what horrors may await. And even if you can't save everyone, you may still be able to alter your fate for the better. Even if only the tiniest of margins. Just don't end up like us. We won't! We'll do worse! Big brother. What is it? What did he mean by the school's wrath? I'm not sure. Is he saying the school has a mind of its own or something? Yes. Tonikaksensei and Minao Sagaso. At any rate, we should try to find Miss Yui and the others as soon as possible. Tochu de Deguchi ga miskatara. Omae wa saki ni ie ni modoru nda. And then we need to get you home too. If we come across any way out of here, I want you to talk it. Take it. Talk it. Take it. Genkai ya hijoguchi. Okujo nara soto ni derareru kamo shirenai. There must be an entrance way or an emergency exit. Roof access, or something that leads outside. And if so, you're to go straight home. No butts. No so butts. No paper cuts. Capiche? Okay. All right. Yeah, we're not. We're not all the way back, but now we can at least get some progress done. Sitting on one of the shelves behind the glass door is a tiny key. Fortunately, the cabinet itself seems to be locked, so there's no way to get to it. Okay, and we got uh, the door. There's a door behind the shelf, but it seems ex it seems to exist exist purely for show, as it's affixed to the wall like a model. There's no way to open it. That sucks. And then this paper is what we've read before about how um how they found the kids and the body and the you know all the all the bad icky stuff. So we don't need to worry about that. And and where is it? Where is it? There it is. That bucket. It's empty. Ooh, someone's gonna give that yellow congealed fluid. And then, can we notice the, the plank, please? No, not yet. Okay, so that plank, I don't know if you noticed, it's moving back and forth, and that's the plank that we need to do to get down here. So, we gotta, we gotta work on that now. Oh, hello. <laughs> Goodbye. I have like a freaking hair just like in my eye. Child spirit. That red dress looks pretty old fashioned. Big brother. It's okay. She's gone now. We'll be fine. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Yuka? What's her name? Yui? Yuka? I keep forgetting. They probably already showed it a million times by now. Can you please notice that the plank? How many times? How many times do I have to do this? Alright, let's go back down. Maybe this time he'll notice that the plank is moving. You know, man brain and all. A little bit, of, a little bit slow. Oh, there he is. Is it just me? Or is that board moving? Yeah, it was over on this side a minute ago. Yuka, 
Maybe we can ambush it? Let's try to find the exact spot where it was sitting before. It was sitting right here. Yuka, hey, Yuka, can you wait here for just a second? Huh? Big brother, no! Don't leave me! Don't worry. I'll be right back. I just had a thought, that's all. Well, okay, but you have to come right, right back. Promise? Huh? You bet! Alright, bye Yuka! Yuka's sprite is so cute. She is an adorable little character. I like her. I like her sprite a lot. I don't like how she keeps calling him Big Brother. Like, he has a name. Did she get Yuka, it? Yuka! Yuka! Can you grab that board? Yuka. Yuka. Her name's Yuka. Uh-huh. I got it! Nice! Loose board. A large, thin floorboard with an unsettling amount of give. Seems a bit sketchy to use. Nice! We got that a lot quicker <laughs> than my last one. Nicely done. Say we're one step closer to getting out of here now. You all set? Come on, let's go. Okay. Actually, wait a sec, big brother. Hmm? What's up? Um, this is for you. What? No. What is it? Such a cute little bottle. What? Well, you see, it's my secret charm. It's full of scented beads. <laughs> oh, there sure are a lot of them in there. Give it a sniff. Mmm, cat urine. My favorite. Oh. Hey, caramel. That smells really good. Isn't it neat? She probably spent her allowance at that stationery shop in town again. You see, caramel flavor is special. It protects you from accidents and shields you from danger. That's why I want you to have it. Flavor? This place is frightening you. Don't worry. I'll be alright. You should hang on to it yourself. Um, but I really don't mind. You take it. Huh? I just... I don't want anything happening to my big brother. <laughs> You're a scatterbrain. You always get freaked out so easily. And it really scares me. Whole body is quaking in fear. She really wants me to take it. Just take it! We're the playable character, we should have it. Any protection's good for nothing. For nothing? It's just good. Alright, I guess I can borrow it for a little. Thanks. Thank you, Yuka! So sweet! Take good care of it, okay? Caramel flavor will keep you safe, but that's not all. Wanna know what else it does? It's a secret. Huh? What do you mean by that? <laughs> if I tell you, you'll get all bothered. So I'm not gonna. <laughs> so something that would bother me? More than calling me a scatterbrain? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder what it is. I wonder what the extra secret is. Yuka's charm of protection, question mark. Seems to be all the rage these days in junior high. Oh boy, and it smells like caramel. Okay, I did not go down there. I'm gonna retrace all my steps. This paper's illegible. Okay, I'm just, just, you know, trying to get ahead. Maybe we can actually do some more stuff with the extra time we have. Oh no! <gasps> Dead body! See, like... This is why I hate re-recording things. I got jump scared by that little fly noise that we just heard. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
Owie! Hurt my hand, big brother! Maybe she doesn't know Satoshi's name. <laughs> Maybe that's why she calls him big brother. Eek! Yuka! Mirira! Yuka! Don't look! Aww. That's a body. It's not a prop or anything. It's a real dead body. This is really happening, isn't it? Big brother? Dead body. Actual dead body. Am I going to end up like this too? Are all of us going to die here? Bonita! Big brother! Yuka! Yeah. Uh, uh, Yuka! It, it's okay. Yuka! Ikuzo! Kuruna! Come on, Yuka! We're leaving this room. <laughs> All right, buddy! There's a corpse sprawled on the ground, decomposing rapidly. The message has been painstakingly carved into the floorboards next to it, seemingly with fingernails alone. <laughs> Read that! I wanna know! Ooh, look at that! Kill me. Please kill me. Please kill me. Please kill me. Please kill me. Can't take it anymore. Can't take it anymore. Can't take it anymore. A little creepy. Oh, look at that. A save. Yippee. Got my save. Uh, there's a corpse sprawled on the, out on the ground, decomposing rapidly. It's clutching a letter in its hands. The letter reads as follows. Dear brother, I regret that we couldn't see one another again before my death, but I no longer have the energy to move, and I'm so desperately thirsty. My tongue started swelling up like a sponge, and it keeps cutting off my air. I find it fascinating if it would stop nearly suffocating me. I just want something to drink. Anything. Heck, I'd even drink that orange juice from the back of the fridge right about now. But there's not a drop of anything to be found. I'm so thirsty. It's actually making me nauseous. Weird, huh? I just hope you at least you can make it out of here alive. Oh, that sucks. The shelf is crammed full of very old, thoroughly yellowed books with unusual titles. The ballad The Ballad of Bad Evil Bunny. Book of Beetle Wings. Yeah, those are some weird titles, huh? Did we get her name tag? I guess we don't need her name tag because I've already got it. And we can't look at this again? No, I was just wondering if there were different titles. Obviously not. Death is blind. Comes for all of our for all souls, regardless of their worth or lack thereof. Nice. And then there is a little memoir over here. Looky here. Victim's memoirs, one out of five. Hotaki. Mitsuharu, I want to see you again. Ghost told me. Apparently, you were brought here too, but we're in different spaces. Even though we're in the same school, I can't see you. Why did this happen to us? I shouldn't be here. I should be in my math one class at prep school. My sister's going to be really mad at me for skipping. I don't think she believed this excuse even if I told her though. I feel like if I ever, if I can ever find you, I'll be able to get out of here alive. Don't know why. But if we really are in the same school, then I know there must be a way of getting in contact with you. And I'm going to find it. <sighs> and that's everything that I did in the first episode. And actually, no joke, it's like around the same exact time. <laughs> See, look, 2856, I think I saved one last time. But yeah, it's literally not far off at all, which is really funny. Um, I, it looks like it recorded, so we're good. We're good. I hope you see this. And if you do, I'm sorry it's not as genuine as the usual, usual, usual ones. You, as the usual ones, okay? I can't talk. Um, I, I'm sorry it's not as genuine, but I'm telling you, next episode, we're ready to go. Next episode, we're ready to go. New experiences. We're going to get into chapter three, and we're going to figure out what these beads can really do, okay? <laughs> but for now, thank you guys so much for your support of liking, commenting, and subscribing. I really appreciate it. I appreciate uh, you guys watching this long-going series. I know this series is going to take forever to do, and I love it. I love Corpse Party. 
perfect pixel horror game in my opinion and it just makes me want to do the other pixel horror games like sandman like crooked man like i want to do those um there's a really sweet one i think to the moon's a really sweet one but yeah i want to actually like get into it and do even more <laughs> but thank you guys so much for your support appreciate you all dearly and yeah i'll see you in the next one have a blessed day guys bye